It's once again time to report our annual equality achievements and after the success of last year's innovative video format, we've opted to take this approach once again. Just like last time, please get back to me with any feedback or questions. The past 12 months have seen us continue to develop equality across all areas of the club's operation, from our role as an employer to the work we deliver on our local community, to the day-to-day -day decisions we make. We're just about to commence our annual monitoring of staff, supporters and everyone else engaged with the club's activities. For the very first time this will include AFC business members, so thank you to all of you who take the time to assist us in this process as we look to identify and engage with underrepresented groups and become a true reflection of our local community. Internally, we've expanded the number of equality impact assessments we undertake to cover all business critical policies, plans and key areas of service delivery. These equality impact assessments help us to create more inclusive practices and remove any barriers which prevent equal opportunity. We've also appointed an equality champion in each department. These equality champions will assist us in disseminating good practice and identifying areas which we can improve our efforts to be more inclusive. We've made some changes to equality training with the development of an internal staff training programme. This was introduced last month in November to the management team and will be rolled out to all the teams throughout the season. We continue to raise awareness of key dates in the equality calendar with our theme match days and we have just launched a new equality campaign, Everyone Together. The campaign aims to celebrate diversity, tackle prejudices and promote understanding. The campaign got underway with 16 portraits featuring 22 supporters, each with a different story to tell about their experience supporting the club and the positivity it brings to their lives. This campaign epitomises everything we do at the football club. Our season ticket renewal video followed a similar theme and featured one of our most audible supporters. His Red Army chant is heard in living rooms worldwide and it was great to be able to show more of his match day and to add more depth to his character. Nonny is now a ritualistic part of our pre-match build-up at the Vitality Stadium. The profile of AFC Bournemouth women continues to grow as we look to mirror our media, marketing, retail and branding efforts with the men's team. The women's team players can be seen everywhere you would expect to see a men's team player, creating important role models for aspiring young footballers. We have four new charity partners this season, as voted for by staff, supporters, AFC business members and junior cherries. These are the Crumbs Project, Bournemouth Food Bank, Dorset Mental Health Forum and Gullies Place. Our work with these partners goes beyond dedicated match days and we've enjoyed playing football with Dorset Mental Health Forum, baking with Crumbs Project and visiting Gullies Place so far this season. Partnering with Bournemouth Food Bank has enabled us to provide match day food collection points at the Vitality Stadium at every home match. Thank you to all of our supporters and staff who have donated and continue to donate. I'm delighted to announce that the Cherries Community Fund, of which myself, Steve Cuss and Mark Pugh form the panel, have already donated £110,456 into the community. As we look to create a culture that welcomes feedback and scrutiny, our equality partnership group is still going strong and we have introduced an equality focus group for supporters who are absolutely passionate about diversity and the challenges facing football fans. Both groups are well attended and have representation across all the protected characteristics. And finally, I'd now like to hand over to our head of community, Steve Cuss. Once again, it gives me great pleasure in having this opportunity as head of community to update you all and report you on the continuing growth of projects and activities that the Community Sports Trust offer our local community. 
Equality is important in, in all the programmes, providing opportunities for all, using the power of football, AFC Bournemouth and the Premier League to educate, motivate and inspire. Throughout 2018, as part of the Community Sports Trust strategy, was to provide more competitive opportunities for our college, disability and girls teams. And I'm particularly delighted to report that the AFC Bournemouth Power Chair team are enjoying a fantastic season, sitting in second place in the league and are through to the second round of the FA Cup. I would like to take this opportunity to highlight a few key milestones across the projects on offer. AFC Bournemouth's women team continue to progress and are currently unbeaten in the league and progress for the first time in the team's history to the first round of the FA Cup, following some impressive performances and results in the qualifying rounds. Midfielder Chloe Tate being named Player of the Season at the club's annual awards was the first ever recipient of the award was an important milestone in the progression of the team. The whole girls and women's programme continues to be a fast growing area with over 350 girls and women enjoying coaching sessions from social football through to the competitive opportunities. Providing opportunities for adults continues to be part of the strategy for community engagement and the Goals Weekly fit Fitness Sessions now have expanded and offer gym sessions for our female supporters, utilising the stadium's gym facilities to provide the positive motivation to exercise. We are very proud to be able to offer Football for All with weekly sessions taking place for adults with mental health difficulties, Down syndrome and hearing impaired sessions, alongside the Coaching for Children who have physical or learning difficulties through our Ability Counts programme which sees over 100 children playing and enjoying football on a weekly basis. Our partnership with Care South continues to provide the opportunities to engage with the more elderly members of our community. Recently, Mark Pugh joined us at Fairlawn for a great afternoon of chair football and games. We are grateful for the continued support of Eddie Howe, the management team and all the players who support our community engagement with regular visits to schools, coaching sessions and the community activities which is a very important part of our community engagement work, providing opportunities for children and adults to meet their heroes and be inspired. Utilising the stadium facilities in offering education lessons and tour, further supports bringing the community closer to the club, an important area of work with many sessions taking place on the training 3G pitches and within the medical centre's gyms. Community and equality match tickets provide the chance for those who wouldn't be able to watch AFC Bournemouth the opportunity to watch Premier League football for the first time through a careful, considered approach and partnership work. A full community impact report has been produced and is available to all supporters via the club's website. It is an honour and privilege for myself to head up AFC Bournemouth's community work promoting AFC Bournemouth and providing the opportunity for all to feel part of our great club. Thank you for your time.